Hi, my name is Peter Provost. I'm the data manager at the Ocean Biodiversity Information System, OBIS. And in this presentation, I will tell you a bit more about the way OBIS supports publishing fair biodiversity research data. This is the OBIS network. We are currently 34 regional and thematic nodes publishing open biodiversity data to biodiversity data aggregators, such as, but not limited to OBIS. Our secretariat is based at the IUC project office for IOD in Belgium. We are currently six people. There is Sarah, who is our scientific officer and eDNA expert, Ward, who is our project manager, myself, Serita, who is the Goose BioEco data manager, Elizabeth, who is our capacity development officer, and Lisa, who recently joined us as associate project manager for the Marco Bolo project. Traditionally, OBIS has focused mostly on describing distributions of marine species, but our focus has shifted in recent years to supporting open science and reproducible research. This means that our data providers can now publish complete data sets with not just species observations, but also abundance and biomass, physiologic and biometric measurements, environmental data, habitat characteristics, and detailed descriptions of sampling gear and methodology. Last year, we also added support for DNA sequences. In addition to the more than 100 million observations of marine species, the OBIS database now also hosts 180 million measurements and facts, as well as 20 million DNA sequences. Of course, we want these rich data sets to be interoperable, for which we rely on the FAIR guiding principles. This diagram summarizes our interoperability standards, which fit into three categories, file formats, metadata standards, and standard lexicon. The file format we use for exchanging data within a network is Darwin Core Archive. For metadata documents, we use Ecological Metadata Language, or EML. And for standard lexicon, we rely on vocabularies and ontologies, such as Darwin Core, Envo, and Mix. So how does this work in practice? This is an example of a set of fields, and in fact just a small subset, that could be associated with a biodiversity record. We have some properties related to the sampling event and sample, properties related to taxonomy, properties of measurements, and fields related to DNA sequencing. The fields we use are from two standards, Darwin Core and Mix, and for most values, we link out to vocabularies or other external resources using persistent URIs. For the sampling protocol, this could be a DOI, which resolves to protocols.io, while the sample is identified by its biosamples accession number. In the taxonomy fields, we have a Linnaean name, but also an LSID, which links to the World Register of Marine Species Worms. We can also have an abundance measurement, in this case, abundance of eukaryotic cells per unit volume of the water body by cyber green staining and flow cytometry, which has an identifier in the P01 vocabulary on the NERC vocabulary server. The same goes for the measurement unit, which has an entry in P06. For the mixed fields, we link to the ENVO ontology, the sequencing method comes from a vocabulary at GBIF, and both the sequencing SOP and primer fields have DOIs. So for measurements, we rely quite heavily on the NERC vocabulary server, and in particular on the P01 or parameter usage vocabulary. The interesting thing about this vocabulary is that it is backed by a semantic model. The measurement type we saw on one of the previous slides, for example, abundance of eukaryotic cells per unit volume of the water body by cyber green staining and flow cytometry can be decomposed into elements from other vocabularies on the NERC vocabulary server. This makes it possible for users, but also for machines, to determine exactly what a specific measurement type means and how different measurement types relate to one another. The result of all this is that we can easily perform data analyses across the interoperable data sets which have been integrated into the OBIS data system. The ROBIS R package makes pulling data from the OBIS database trivial, and it takes just a few lines of code to produce a graph like this one on fish lengths. 
We are also working on the findability aspect of FAIR data. We embed linked data documents into the dataset pages on the OBIS portal, which makes them discoverable for systems like Google Dataset Search and IOD's Ocean InfoHub. This metadata also includes the measurement types I mentioned before. In fact, when you visit the Ocean InfoHub search interface, there is a filter to select datasets which have specific measurements like biomass, fish lengths, and so on. We are also looking into the linked data patterns for essential ocean variables, or EOVs, which are currently being developed by the Ocean InfoHub project and other initiatives. This will ensure that OBIS data can effectively feed into EUV data products wherever these are being produced. So thank you for your attention and also a big thank you to the members of our vocabulary infrastructure project team who are working hard to take the interoperability of our datasets to the next level.